What's wrong with me? 13 years relationship. M35, F41. More than just cheating. Red flag one before we got together, I was his support network while he waited for his HIV test results. It noted us for almost two weeks. Finally, it was negative. However, he went back to prostitution despite such a scary experience. I didn't know what to say this time. Personally I was in total shock that he banged the same wall twice. Red flag 2 When we were officially together, I brought him to the deluxe suite at MBS and we both kinda treated as our first home. Being a first officer pilot, I know how the aviation industry can be. But I chose to believe him. CT room at MBS and even went with her for breakfast. Breakfast is something that we share uniquely because I have insomnia so it takes a lot of effort on my part to wake up that early just to have breakfast with him. When I asked him why he had to bring his fling to that exact place he said he was missing me. Plus he confessed that he had the opportunity to stop whilst in the cab but so young somehow was too drunk and didn't know where she stayed. He said he searched her bag to look for some form of identification but to no avail. He could have sent her to his place or to the police station if he wanted to have any dignity left but alas, his lust and ego got the better of him. I found out they were conversing via FB messenger and what I read really disgusted me because he told her things that he told me so, I guess what he said about me was special was just his slippery tongue in action. After finding out about all these betrayal, I started to wonder if it was just to lighten his guilt or he indeed had a conscience. I did tell him before if he wants to lie to me, just make sure I'd never find out the truth. Otherwise don't even try. An uncanny thing is that usually the truth will come to me. I just have to be patient. Since he confessed, I gave him another chance cause I'm of the belief that when one party cheats, both are at fault and it's best we get to the root of it. Having made my boundaries clear, and he sincerely repeated that he'll never do such things again, we moved on with our relationship despite it as a tough mountain for me to climb. I'm a person who believes that I'll live and die because of love. Months went on with lots of overcompensation from him. As for me, it took everything I had to wipe the slate clean and recommit to this relationship. Months went by and everything was sweet and cheery. Red flag three things were honky dory until one fine day, he left his HP on the bed and there was many notifications in his messenger again. I wanted to take the HP to pass to him in case it was something urgent but there I saw in his notification, another air stewardess name popped up. This time an Indian lady by the name of Shale. This time. I uncovered so many secrets. I was completely shaken and completely heartbroken. Red flag 4 I saw the conversation he had with Shale and his best friends forever Julian. Co-currently, at this point, I told him that I was pregnant with his baby but he didn't take it well at all and neither did I receive any comfort from him. He listened to his best friends forever, Julian and said that I was lying. Despite me showing him the ultrasound when he demanded for proof. This can only mean that he has been ducking around behind my back no? This time. I was pissed with his best friends forever Julian as well because he egged my partner on to have intercourse with Shale. If all of them doesn't tell, how would I know I? Well if Julian's idea of being a best friends forever is as such, it wouldn't be a far stretch that he does this to his wife as well? When Julian was told that I was pregnant, he was the one who said that I claimed I was pregnant to continue our relationship and I was just being desperate. We could have had a family then. I went through everything with one of my buddies and he told me, from then on, even if we get married. He'd hope that I understand why he won't turn up. This was a 20 plus friendship and he's always protective of me cause he knows how I've suffered through since childhood. Red flag 5 low and behold, my partner actually hired a pie to tail me and see if I was telling him the truth. He could have paid me $7,000 instead of giving it to the pie. He said he went to get himself baptized and he could confess to God every ugly details he has committed but just couldn't tell me. I was like does he even human or just enjoys eating the forbidden fruit eventually his pastor told him to confess everything to me because I deserve to know the truth. So, this is the depth of his heinous deeds. Which I'm the one who found out most of it 1. He told me about the pie thing. 2. He told me about all the details of what happened with Shale and how much he listens to his best friends forever Julian. To me, it's an excuse. He just doesn't want to admit, he had to take accountability for everything. As for Shale. They kissed but when I probed him if he had the chance to duck her, he said he would. Just so happened that Shale's husband was at home and they're at the brink of divorce. 3. Weeks passed and suddenly his HIV report showed that he had oral herpes. I didn't feel bad for him. I just didn't trust him anymore so I couldn't be intimate with him. Whenever he tried, my knee-jerk reaction was to make him stop doing that because I would leave the relationship if he continues. 4. Throughout the years, he confessed that he had been patronizing massage parlors which offered blow jobs. In SG, while overseas. This is what he actually meant when he feigned concern and told me to sleep early as have a good rest. 
I never suspected an underlying meaning because I thought it was really concern. 5. He lied about going to USJ with Julian. I only found out because someone I know saw him there and told me about it, asking why I weren't there. My stance on his best friends forever was made very clear since day one and the choice of keeping this best friends forever was entirely up to him so I've no idea why he would lie over such small matters. When I confronted him about it, instead of just admitting he was at fault, he demanded to know who told me. If you're still reading on, I thank you for your patience. 6. After going through so much stress, I had a miscarriage three months old. I had a total meltdown and kept blaming myself, asking God what have I done to deserve all these? Deafening silence. Due to the AMT of stress, I was hospitalized for pneumonia. Also hospitalized for sudden large blisters on my foot and at the back of it. I'd rather have stomach flu than to ever have this again. I started to develop panic attacks and my insomnia became more severe. Not my actions but somehow I'm getting the brunt of it. Feels like I was born to suffer as much so that I can empathize with most people as I was a clinical psychologist specializing in child to adolescence 7. At this point, I'm pretty sure he unloaded all of his secrets to make himself feel weightless. 8. On and off, his temper tantrums would flare up like a woman going through hormonal shifts. 9. Recently we bought a golden retriever named Elisha and he proved me right not to have a family with him because he was violent to Elisha quite a number of times within less than a year. I warned him if he ever did cross the line, I would take a knife and stab him for him to understand the AMT of crap we had to suffer by his own doings. If my dad ever finds out the real him, he wouldn't be alive. Red flag 6 over the years, I've heard countless times when he would insist he'd change but talk is cheap. Suddenly I would become the villain and I have very high expectations. From the start of this relationship, I told him all I'm looking for in a man is someone who loves and is able to hold the fort when I'm down. PLS let me know if I'm asking too much there's plenty more to share but I guess all I want to know is if I'm insane or I'm a sadist. Does anyone have a similar experience? This is why you never stay with a cheater. Why are you still with him exactly?